For barbell bench, you go to your bar and a bench and have it set up. So when you lean back, the bar is right above the day hooks. So you see how I don't have so much pressure to get the bar up the day hooks. To start off, what you're going to do is get your hands in a even position on the bar. What I mean by that is you can either go hands right at the barely, thumb distance out, or full thumb out. Alright? So you always want to make sure that you have your hands in the same place every single time you do this exercise. That way, so each every time you go into the exercise, go into this lift, you're just doing like repetition. It's gonna be the same thing every time. So leaning back, get your hands set up on the bar, all right? Lock your thumbs under if you want to grab that bar as hard as you can. Next thing what you're going to do is get your shoulders back and down so your shoulder blades are going to be flat on the bench. Next, bring your feet back as far as you can, driving your toes into the floor so you get that extra tension, all right? From here, you want to drive your lower back into the bench, keeping your core tight. And then from here, you're going to lift the bar off the J hooks. Now, you're going to hold the bar over your chest, still keeping your shoulder blades flat on the bench. You're going to drive your elbows together like you're trying to rip that bar in half. All right, so you're going to be holding the bar, drive them together like you're trying to break that bar in half so you get that extra tension. Uh, you don't ever want to come out wide when you're benching. You always want to come neutral or at least 45 degrees. All right, so shoulders flat, core down, grab the bar, lift, break that bar in half. Now, a lot of people think that when you're benching, you just let the bar fall to your chest. That's not all right. You want to pull it down so you have constant control. All right, you're going to pull it down right about mid chest, about nipple level. Once you tap, Drive up as hard as you can, all right? Breaking that bar, keeping that tension the entire time. Bringing the bar to your chest, tap, drive back up. The entire time, you want to be driving your toes into the floor, keeping that tension into your whole body. Bringing the bar down and drive back up. Another thing, when you are benching, you don't want to let the bar have your wrist come back. When you're benching, you want to keep your wrist straight the entire time. You keep your wrist bent like that, the bar weight is going to be right on your knuckles and it's going to put extra pressure on your wrist, which we don't want. That's how you barbell bench.